to do? Here I go! You got more than you bargained for. Dilemma. So much to learn. What to do? <laughs> what is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Hit them through! Not bad. A passing. Logical course of action. Oh, ice! Pierce them through! What to do? Thus ends your lesson. I've done my research on you. Now, what next? To do. 
Settle this like gentlemen. What to do? Now, what next? I've done my research on you. Here I <laughs> For you! <laughs> An interesting dilemma. Focus is 
Not bad. A passing. Dilemma. Oh, flames, rage, wrong. Let's 
do this! For you! Let's do this! Now the truth! What next? Nothing will quiet the storm! Not bad. A passing. Settle this like gentlemen. my research on you. What to do? <laughs> what is the logical course of action? <laughs> An interesting dance. <laughs> <laughs> My research on you. What is the logical course of action? Oh, flames! Rage strong! What? For you! I've done my research on you. What to do? Now, <sighs> nothing will quiet the storm. Settle this like gentlemen. My turn now. Try this on for size. Uh. 
a gift for you. You should have studied harder. I've done my research on you. What is the... <sighs> Nothing will quiet the storm! of action. Oh, ice! Here some proof! Here I go! <laughs> what? Uh. Oh, ice! Here some proof! You should have studied harder. Oh, ice! Here's some proof! Here I go! Now. Ah! Oh, ice! Here's some proof! Not bad. A passing.
is not. What to do? <laughs> For you. Thus ends your lesson. A good day to you.
Yeah? Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing, and things one's better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. Father! Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. It's done. Huh. I will never forget. Three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men, foul scavengers, just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget.
always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. <sighs> Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman. Here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep! Bunch of useless strays. But not you, Primrose. You are the only one I can rely on. You flatter me, Master. Oh, hardly. Why, this tavern's custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groomed you for this role. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know. <laughs> what happened to your sweet little smile? Who puts a roof over your head and food on your plate? Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? Who made you the most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me! Oh, me! You owe me, kitten. And I'll see that debt repaid. Yes, master. <laughs> Good then. Purr sweetly, and I may give you a treat. Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Grimrose, it's your cue. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitty. Yes. Forgive me. <laughs> I am ready.
Are you all right? Yes. Hey! S Stop that! Many thanks. <sighs> Yo. Wait a minute.
Forgive me. The truth is... Right? What? Excuse me. <laughs> My apologies.
Yeah. Put your face back on now, kitty. Yes! 
ready. The moonlight rolls. Here I go! For you! Thus ends your lesson. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? What to do? For you! I am ready. <laughs> now the truth, nothing will quiet the storm. You should have studied harder. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? <gasps> Master Helganish, whatever are you doing here at this hour? Funny you should ask. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Yusufa! I... I'm sorry. She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut. But my boys helped her get it open. It seems I was too lenient with the girl. I won't make that mistake again. No! Is it finally over? I must say, at least her last performance had some life. If she had shown that sort of potential earlier, I might have kept her on longer. <sighs> Enough. What was that? I have danced enough for you. This was the last night that I belonged to you. Oh, was it now? So some wheels do turn in that pretty little head of yours. 
Here I thought it a waste, as empty as the desert. I saw you for the foul swine you are the first time I laid eyes on you. You would take that tone with me? You're nothing but a stupid whore! You would have died on the street if not for me! You have given me nothing. I have always danced on my own two feet. I have always chosen where I step. Who do you think you're speaking to, whore? All these years, the jeers, the beatings, the dishonor, I endured it all. All for this day, the day that man appeared before me. I need your stage no longer. I dance for myself now. Primrose. You forget yourself, little kitten. But, but I understand. This is just a little show, yes? You wanted to see your master frown. Fine! Very well! You've had your fun! <laughs> that naughty mouth of yours belongs to me! Put it where it belongs, and if you please me to my satisfaction, I will overlook your impertinence. <laughs> Master, go pleasure yourself. <laughs> Wrong answer, kitten. You know what I do with cats that bite, don't you? I put them down. Just like that one. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. What a waste. Yes, a terrible, terrible shame. The only shame is that I could not do this sooner, Master. Time for the main event. the logical course of action. <sighs> so much to learn. I am ready. <laughs> Watch me now. The peacock struck. Interesting. 
Dilemma. You like that? Now the true lesson begins! Oh, ice! Here's the proof! of action. Primrose, won't you dance one last dance for me? Uh-huh. 
quite the dancer yourself in the end. I've done my research on you. Now, what next? Oh, ice! Here's some proof! Nice gear! For you! I am ready. Not bad. A passing. I am 
ready. The peacock struck. Not bad. A passing. The peacock struck. For you. You know the truth. Not bad. A passing. Not bad. A passing. You should have studied harder.
to do. For you. I am ready. The peacock struck. Thus ends your lesson.
very well. Very well. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Good. Thou hast yet to depart. Waylaid by sentiment, my girl. It did ill behooven me to leave without bidding my favorite prentice affair thee well. A joke, as always. Will thy journey be long, Master? Good question, that. The request cometh from none other than the Knights Ardant. The hunt will take us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue him is a fearsome one. I see. Ha ha ha! Look and not so glum, girl! I'm no Tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm. I'll do the deed, back before two moons have passed. Still no smile? What is it, my girl? Tis not the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop and off somewhere along the way. Oh, here and there, mayhap. 
Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse and came back a poorer man than thou left. Poor in coin, mayhap. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. And learned that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, I am quite at a loss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. Not so cheap in the end. Eliza had to pay him thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last moon. Promise me, Master, no more foolish gambling. <laughs> but what of the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second and try again. Thou just madest that one up. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world-weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting so gloomy? I turn to thee, Hagen. Looking after Master, for he can rarely be bothered to looking after himself. Thou takest her side against me, old friend? He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. <laughs> Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the past. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Have I not a single ally in this infernal village? I am your friend, but I am also a knight Ardant, and your client. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment. Most honorable Lady Eliza of the illustrious Knights Ardant. <laughs> That's more like it. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Thank you, my girl, and farewell. A year hath passed since that day. In all that time, Master could only be bothered to send in a single letter. Hanet, tis me thou revered Master. Missest me? I won't bore thee with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sought by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even hath one, none can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, tis the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt in. It eludeth mine every trap, and, though thou may think me mad for saying this, I swear it can even senseth every move I make. I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct, but either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed it sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stoneguard. 
I will be frank with thee, my girl, who thou hast always been able to see through my pretenses. The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not endeth soon. But fear not, for endeth it shall, as thou ever knowst your master to fail in a hunt. And so I ask thee, my dear apprentice, pray look after the village until I return. Oh, and be not a worry, what? Always thy friend and teacher, Zanta. Never heard Master admitteth that any hunt would be difficult. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he stoppeth in every gambler's den from here to Stoneguard. But no, Master liketh to act in the fool. But when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it he will. <sighs> yes, Linda, I know. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Come in. Let him us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. I'm asking ye. Yes. <sighs> now, let us hunt him. Let in my yeah. Thou didst fight his courage. Beginning. Let in the hunt begin. Come here. Thou didst fight with courage. Now then. So. Oh.
Fortune smiling. Now, let us hunt him. Letting my arrow fly in true. Letting the hunt begin. <laughs> Thou didst fight with courage. Well. Uh, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Understood. That's right. Hmm. Greetings. I see. Hmm. Mm. I'm asking ye. <laughs> Splendid. I am ready. I'm asking ye. Fair befallen thee. Well met. Nay. Eh. Mm. Yes. This bodeth ill. Well, actually... Truly? I am ready.
Thou didst fight with courage. Letting the hunt begin it. Now, my focus. <laughs> Thus ends your lesson. This bodeth ill.
if thou wilt. Thou hast my thanks. Letting my arrow fly in trees. Let us begin it. Not acceptable.
I see. Beest thy will. An interesting dilemma. So much to learn. Uh, uh, my turn now! Uh, for you! Uh. This will help me. I am ready. The peacock struck. My turn now. I am ready. course of action. Oh, ice! Pierce them through! Coming, if... My turn now! I'm ready. You like that? <laughs> what to do? of action. Oh, ice! Pierce them through! Here I go! I am ready. The peacock struck. Letting the hunt begin it. I am ready. 
stay strong. My turn now! <laughs> For you! Listen, here come! Struck. My focus is on nothing will quiet the storm. What to do? This should be the trick. Let's try this. Come in, if thou darest. An interesting dilemma. Nothing will quiet the storm. I am ready. Letting my arrow fly in true. Let's do this! For you! <laughs> the lion down. is given not in vain, for it will feed in others. Thou art of the forest now, and in the forest naught is lost. Come in, my friends. This life belongeth to all. The animals that eateth the grass becometh food for the animals that eateth meat. The eaters of meat in their turn feedeth those yet stronger. And when the strongest of all dieth, his life is returned to the forest. His flesh feedeth the soil, the grass. His blood becometh sap, his bones wood. He becometh the food of the plant eaters, and the circle beginneth once more. Lives entwined, a tapestry woven anew each dawn, every thread a part of the whole.
to survive and honoring those fell by thine own arrows. <laughs> as long as he speaketh only of hunting, he is the wisest of men. <sighs> if only that were all he cared about. <sighs> the hunt is over. Now it is time to tend in to the fallen. Good day. Well. Yes. Thou hast my thanks. But of course. Just so. Hunt is on. So thou art going after Zonta. Hagen here came at seeking my help. In his letter, he said he was bound for Stoneguard. We shall begin our search there. I pray it is no more serious than an ill-founded wager that left him unable to pay at his innkeeper. <laughs> For a hugged who cometh all this way alone, I cannot help but fear the worst. Prithee, take his care. We will. And dawn nothing. 
and foolish. Don as unto saith child, not as he would doeth. Thank you, Chief. Fear and not for us. We shall be back before the next moon, with Master at our side. Stayest safe, Master. We're coming. <laughs>